Hello and welcome everyone to another episode of React WooCommerce theme with Next.js. Uh, in the previous episode, we learned about how to install the package, which is the Stripe.js and the Next Stripe for our Stripe checkout functionality. And in this video, we're going to learn about how to create the Stripe API webhook endpoint. So as I explained earlier in the previous video that the reason why we need the Stripe API webhook endpoint so that after the payment has been made for the order, your, your WooCommerce order, then uh, it is going to call our endpoint automatically. And at that endpoint, it's going to, there will be an event which will be listening to the checkout point. And then once that event is fired, which means the uh, payment has been complete or declined or whatever, then accordingly we can take the action and we can go ahead and change the order status from hold to processing. All right. So how do we do that? So if you don't already have an account uh, with Stripe, please go ahead and create one. And once you do that, just come over here uh, under developers and webhook. And I have already created a webhook endpoint, but you can create a new one. So you can go ahead and click on this one. And then uh, you need to copy this. Okay. So main thing you need to look at is API slash Stripe webhook. Okay, so this is the name of my endpoint will be. I'm adding a trailing slash is because in my Next.js application, if you take at the next config, I have a trailing slash set to true. If that is not set to true, then you, you can you know remove this trailing slash, otherwise please keep it. The next thing you're gonna need is basically your Next.js site URL. So if you, depending on where it's installed, so in case, if you go to mine, so depend on, depending on where it's deployed, in this case, mine is deployed at woo-next-imran-hsayad.versal.app. So we can add that here. Okay, so, but whatever your um, URL is, where your Next.js is ho hosted, you need to put that URL here, all right? And then slash API and then slash uh, Stripe webhook. So that's gonna be my endpoint. And that's exactly the name of the file of the API will be. So if you come to pages in next year's application, API, you can see that the name is Stripe webhook. Uh, for this endpoint, so you need to replace this name with the Stripe webhook, web hyphen hook. So whatever name you keep for this endpoint, you need to change it uh, to that one. So if it was Stripe, webhook like one word, you will replace that here. Okay, so it has to be the same. And then the trailing slash. And then if you wanna put any description, you can. The next thing you wanna do is select the event. So look for checkout. So, and this is the event that we're looking for. Checkout session completed. So check on that one. And then go ahead and add the endpoint. So click on that and the endpoint will be added. I have already done that, so I won't be doing that again. So you can see this is my endpoint. It's currently enabled, uh, that's the URL. Uh, event type checkout session completed. Uh, there are some of the session attempts that have been succeeded. So I have got 200 okay for these ones. And you can always open it and check, you know, what type of uh, checkout event was, what it is. You can always check what was the status code, what was the request to your endpoint, what was the data and stuff. So all of that information you can find here. All right. So we'll come back to this one once we have set it up completely. But uh, this is how you create the uh, endpoint. And once you do that, you come back to your Stripe webhook, and this is where you're going to add all the required information. So you're gonna pull the buffer from the micro. You're also going to install the Stripe, so make sure you do npm install Stripe, so make sure you install Stripe as well, okay? And then uh, you're also gonna need the WooCommerce REST API, so make sure you install that, and I'll explain to you why you need that. So go ahead and install this. This WooCommerce REST API is needed so that when we are registering our own custom endpoint to create the order, then uh, we can use this WooCommerce REST API. Now, if you're wondering why did we use the uh, REST API instead of when we're using GraphQL, the reason for this is because the default create order mutation in WP GraphQL WooCommerce uh, basically is for admins, okay? Uh, the current checkout mutation that is available uh, doesn't have everything that we need for our functionality to work. 
and that's why we're using the create order now if we use the default create order mutation of wp graphql woocommerce uh, then you have to bypass the authorization which means anyone can call that uh, mutation and place an order and that is not good right so we can't bypass that so that is why we are creating our own endpoint so this create order is our own endpoint which i will talk about later okay but just to so you know that you know we need that so then we go ahead and say instantiate the new stripe we pass the secret key and i've already explained in the previous video that you know you can get your secret key from stripe which is basically uh, under the api keys from here uh, that's your secret by the way and then you put the webhook you store that webhook secret in a variable uh, we can remove this one we don't need that and then you just instantiate a new object for woocommerce rest api pass the url consumer key consumer secret version number so you can get the consumer key and consumer secret from woocommerce so if you go to woocommerce settings and then go to integrations and then click on the advanced tab which is here and then click on the rest api which is this one and once you do that this is a place where you can add a key so you can click on adding a new key and then you can generate the api key and that's where you can get all of that information all right so go ahead and add the uh, consumer key and consumer secret so make sure that you create uh, the consumer key and consumer secret environment variables in your env file and then go ahead and use that here right version we are using is wcv slash v3 right and then this is the function which is basically responsible for updating the order and i'll come back to the update order in a moment let's uh, focus on the webhook so to create this type webhook uh, you need to create the handler okay so we'll say const handler equals async you will check to see that the request needs to be post so if the request is post and then you're going to hold this buffer so remember that we pulled the buffer from micro on top so we're going to hold that in a variable and then this is going to be getting the headers from the request for stripe signature we'll create a variable called stripe event we're going to check then we are going to go ahead and construct the event which will contain buffering signature and web hook secret you can always console out to see what event you get and then in case if there is any error then you just you know show that error over here then uh, in the event we are going to get the type of the event so stripe event object is going to contain a property called type so we're going to check if the type is the checkout session dot completed so what is the event type so if you remember in the webhook that's the event we are looking for event types right so that's the name of the event so we're checking if this is the event then we're going to uh, get the session from the stripe event dot data dot object and then if I, and then when we do that then we call the update order in case if this is successful which means if we have successfully uh, if this event is successfully fired then we go ahead and update the order if it isn't then again we go ahead and update the order call the same function but this time with failed so we pass the order id so we'll have the order id in this webhook and we're also going to get the session id and if you're wondering how am i going to get the order id and the session id in the webhook so i will be explaining that to you once we actually create the stripe session okay so once you create the stripe session that's when you're going to get the uh, session id all right so hold on to that thought and we'll come back to that once we set that up all right and then we're going to call this function this function basically is going to uh, go ahead and set the new status for the data whatever the status is if it's failed or if it's completed it's going to take the transaction id and then it's going to call the orders endpoint which we have already created and then it's going to go ahead and make a call to the rest api endpoint for orders so this orders endpoint of rest api woocommerce rest api is going to go ahead and update the order with the new order data if it is updated it's going to say it's updated otherwise uh, it'll say no it's not done all right and then finally we set the headers otherwise to post and if, if there's any error then we just say set header allow post and then status method not allowed otherwise we just send the responses received true right 
So that's what's happening in the webhook. All right. So we're going to continue further in the next video. So I hope you did like the video. If you did, please give a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. And do start my repository to support my work. My repository name is Woonext. And do follow me on Twitter. My Twitter handle is Cody Tech. All right. Thank you very much. I'll see you in the next video.